वेलकम नाउ विल डिस्कस आइसोमॉर्फिक ग्राफ्स बिफोर डिस्कसिंग आइसोमॉर्फिक ग्राफ्स आई वांट्स टू रिमाइंड यू वन मोर थिंग दैट इज ऑल व्हाट इज वन वन एंड डॉन टू मैपिंग लेट अस सी दिस वन इफ देयर आर फाइव एलिमेंट्स इन दिस वन एंड फाइव एलिमेंट्स इन दिस वन फॉर ईच value of x there is only one value of fx and for each value of fx there is only one value of x in other words for every f there is an image and for every image there is a single pre image then it is called one one and on to many now we think this one we wants to use what is meant by isomorphic graph if two graphs when we will say isomorphic if for each edge of one graph there will be a corresponding edge of the second graph for each vertex of the first graph there will be a corresponding vertex in the second graph in other words for each vertex and each edge of first graph and second graph there will be a one one relationship one one and on let us see these two graphs this is a graph and this is another graph we want to check whether these two graphs are isomorphic or not so first of all if it is we have to show it isomorphic first check it how many vertices are there there are five vertices here also there are five vertices so there is a possibility that these two graphs may be isomorphic now check degree of each vertex is 2 here and here also degree of each vertex is 2 still there is a possibility that the two graphs are isomorphic we cannot guarantee still now unless we can prove that a b c d e there is a corresponding relation between this 1 2 3 4 5 if we are associating a with 1 hmm? c from a and a is going to d so if we are make associating d with phi a with 1 and d with phi then a d is 1 phi and c here 1 phi d the a d is there now from a another edge is going to c and here from 1 another edge is going to 2 if we are associating c with 2 now we can say ac is there and 1 2 is also there ad is there and 1 5 is also there now if we are taking b let us take b we are making with 4 if b is associated with 4 then see bd and a is there so bd here so corresponding is 4 by c here 4 by a is there b now associated with e so for e only one thing is left 1 4 2 5 6 so 3 is left so if b e is there b e is an edge and here we can check 4 3 is an edge here so now we can once again check all the things see for a b c d there are four words this 1 4 2 5 3 always check in this way ac is an edge put ac here 
and here corresponding is 1 2 here also 1 2 is there now AC is over you can go to AD AD its corresponding is coming 1 5 check it 1 5 is there now go to B BD BD is here and here is coming 4 5 here also 4 5 is there BE BE is here 4 3 so 4 3 is an edge here then C we have checked CE CE is here it is 2 3 so 2 3 is an edge here so in this way we have checked all the, the for each vertex there is a corresponding vertex and for each edge we, can, we are getting a corresponding edge you can write the name of edges AD correspond to 1 pi but it is not needed you have to check here AD corresponding to 1 pi in this way if you are getting all this there is a correspondence 1 to 1 correspondence between each vertex and between each edge then only these are known as these two graphs are known as isomorphic graphs so always check in this time now there is sometimes if it is asked to check whether two graphs are isomorphic or not let us assume one graph is given like this i am randomly drawing it graph is given like this if it is asked to check whether these two graphs are isomorphic or not so first of all we will check how many vertices are there in this graph there are 8 vertices in this graph also there are 8 vertices so there is a possibility that these two graphs may be isomorphic now check degree of these vertices 2 2 2 2 here also 2 this is 2 this is 2 this is 2 now degree of this vertex is 4 4 4 and 4 but here it is 3 3 3 3 so it is not matching so there is no scope that these two will be isomorphic graphs in this way we have to decide when two graphs are isomorphic or not hope I can able to communicate what is isomorphic graph? Thank you.